Welcome back to Natural Language Learning. Uh, today I'm going to show you a very simple, easy, and uh, also cheap way of practicing speaking in the language that you're learning. This is perfect for beginners. There's no stress on this. Uh, you don't need a partner. You won't get embarrassed in front of anyone. This is perfect to practice conversations before you actually try and speak to people. I know some people are quite shy, uh, they're scared of looking stupid in front of people. That's clearly not my, my case. <laughs> I used to be like that, but uh, uh, I think a lot of exposure made me much more extroverted. So anyway, enough about me, let's, let's get uh, straight to the point. So this is called Translate, I'm sure you're familiar with it. Uh, this is in Basque, this is my, my mother language, I always used it in Basque. And this is my target language, I'm learning Dutch. So, the easiest and fastest way to start speaking is to type there in your language, I'll use English here for simplicity and um, for you to understand and because Basque into Dutch is probably not all that accurate compared to English into Dutch but yeah for the most part Google Translate is quite uh, it's trustworthy so what we're going to do is quite simple just you just talk to yourself have a conversation simulate the conversation and Type everything you want to say. Maybe you mentally try to say things like you. How would you, how would I say this? You don't know how to say it. Then you type it there, and then you actually read it aloud and say it from the target language. So, yeah. Hi, my name is Mika. Hello, my name is Mika. And then the best thing is. Hello, my name is Mika. Okay. Except your actual name, no. Hello, my name is Mikkel. All right. I come out Baskenland. Hello, my name is Mikkel. I come out Baskenland. Baskenland. You don't pronounce his ends. Yeah. Tegen. Tegen. I've not stopped while, while reading. Um, my name is Mikkel. I come out of Baskinland. I am 31 years old. 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 Hello, um, my name is Mikkel, I come out of Baskenland, I am 31 years old. I hou van talen leren. I hou van talen leren. I hou, I hou van talen leren. You see, you pay attention to the pronunciation there. Uh, so that I know it's not talen leren. Talen leren. Ik hou van talen leren. Yeah, they don't pronounce the ends. I need to figure out where they pronounce and where they aren't. Ik hou van talen leren. Ik ben... Ik ben de Nederlandse taal aan het leren. Ik, ik, leer, ik leer de Nederlandse taal. Ik leer de Nederlandse taal. Ik leer de Nederlandse taal. Het is niet... 
Um, het is niet erg moeilijk voor mij, voor mij omdat het vergelijkbaar is. Het is niet erg moeilijk voor mij, omdat het vergelijkbaar is met Engels en Duits. Het is niet erg moeilijk, moeilijk voor mij, omdat het vergelijkbaar is met Engels en Duits. Het is niet erg moeilijk voor mij, omdat het vergelijkbaar is met Engels en Duits. Ik spreek al Engels en Duits. Al. Okay. Ik heb, ik heb al, ik heb al Engels en Duits geleerd. Ja, waar is iemand uit Germany? Anyway. En dan, ja, dit is, dit is mijn first time doing this, wat. I've been learning Dutch for a couple of weeks only. Um, but you can do this a few minutes a day. It's, it gets tiring, but it's very, very effective. Uh, just do it at the very beginning of your language learning of the day, uh, of the time, because it's the most uh, intensive part of it, I think. You have to think, you have to speak. You know, it's tiring. So, uh, you can speak about yourself, you can speak about your day. Uh, yeah. uh, nu ik ga ik naar de sportschool. Sportschool. Nu ga ik naar de sportschool. Nu ga ik naar de sportschool. Ik ga kickboxen trainen. trainen. Nu ga ik naar de sportschool. Ik ga kickboxen trainen. Ik, ik ga kickboxen trainen. Ik, ik weet dat kickboxen erg populair is in Nederland. Ik weet dat kickboxen erg populair is in Nederland. Ik weet dat kickboxen erg populair is in Nederland. Ik hou ook van hardlopen, zwemmen en gewicht hebben. Um, and so on. Yeah, you can speak about your plans. No, a, a very good uh, thing to do is speak a little bit about what you did yesterday, what you will do today or tomorrow. I mean, or Yesterday or, or last weekend, last week, whatever. A little bit about something in the past, a little bit about something in the future. And then something interesting you saw. Or just things that uh, you've got some sort of connection with. So some th things from your life, things that grab your attention, things you're interested in, so that uh, you remember them. If you just Take a random topic that you're really not interested in. I mean, you learn vocab maybe, but if you're really into uh, football, just talk about football. To talk about the results, uh, last weekend's matches and so on. Uh, you need to be emotionally connected to the topics you're talking about. But yeah, you can talk about yourself, talk to yourself all day with this. And it's not going to be perfect. Of course, this is not 100% perfect, but 99% when you are in a beginner stage, at, at a beginner stage, it's very effective. 99% uh, accurate. And you will. This was my first time ever speaking Dutch with this. Uh, do this 10 minutes a day, maybe, or maybe 30 if you really feel like it. If you do this consistently, you will quickly improve your ability to speak, 
and you will soon be ready and willing to speak to native speakers. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, see you next time.